Hello everyone and welcome back. This is a late morning drive to Santa Barbara. We have some doggies resting here in the morning sun, middle of the road. We're going to Santa Barbara to withdraw some money at the PNB Bank, that is the preferred bank of the lady of the house. And we're gonna check out if the road towards uh, Santa Barbara is finished. We have talked about it some uh, times before, if they have finished the road between San Miguel and Santa Barbara. So, this is a road we have been driven many times before, but uh, for those who are interested, let's go! It seems to be a beautiful morning, no heavy clouds, so uh, we guess we're gonna do this uh, ride without getting wet. But as usual here in the Philippines, you never know what the day will bring. This is a Saturday morning, just before Christmas, the 23rd of December. So there might be quite a lot of traffic, and we needed to do this to have some cash available over the holidays. So you might have been told that here in the Philippines cash is king, and uh, yes, that is still quite true. But since the pandemic, the e-payment options has been more and more accepted everywhere, and uh, more and more popular amongst people as well. For example, Gcash and Maya. I'm using both Maya and Gcash, mostly to uh, pay for my utility bills like internet, water and electricity and that stuff. But uh, more and more small vendors, like in the public market and along the roads, are actually accepting Gcash nowadays. So you don't need to have that much cash anymore, but as always, it's good to have. I would recommend anyone that is moving here to the Philippines to set up a Gcash account. It is uh, easy to do and uh, it is uh, good to have. It might be uh, helping your everyday life. So today we're gonna go left here towards San Miguel to come up to the San Miguel Santa Barbara road. And as I said before, this is the Saturday just before Christmas, 23rd of December. So there is more traffic than usual. People are doing all the last minute shopping and uh, all that kind of stuff. In my budget video, a few uh, videos back, I was talking about having a budget on around 18,000 pesos a month. 20,000 pesos for those are we using in cash, or around that amount. I know I said most supermarkets here accept uh, credit cards, but uh, by some reason we usually pay cash anyway. I don't know, it is a uh, lady of the house that is keeping the money and uh, she pays with cash. Uh, I pay with credit card when it is uh, more expensive or at, when we are an SNR and stuff like that where it gets really expensive. But uh, yeah, you use cash a lot anyway, but uh, the possibility is there. So uh, yeah, just saying. Back home in Sweden, I never had cash on me. You just tap your card, your phone, your watch or whatever. And off you go. We are not quite there yet here in the Philippines, but I think in uh, a few years time, at least in the major cities, that will be a possibility here as well. Here we're coming up on the intersection. If you go straight, you go to San Miguel, you go left, you go down to Bonton, and we'll take a right here today to go to Santa Barbara. We are not quite done here in the entrance. Uh, actually, I was driving past there the other day, now here in the early days of January, and uh, that was open now. There's a bit traffic jam here, coming up from Santa Barbara. You can even pay with your card at many of the restaurants here in Iliwilu. I have even paid with card when I have been out in the provinces. Although that has been a little bit bigger restaurant or a more modern restaurant that had uh, the option to pay by card. Many of the bigger restaurants out in the provinces actually accept uh, Gcash or Maya, but you can't really count on it to be an option. 
But if you are really uh, low on uh, cash on hand, you might be able to find a place to eat if you have access to a Gcash or you can have your card with you. Just saying that there is possibilities without cash here. So far so good on this road. Uh, renovated parts is open for traffic again. Last time we were driving here, we uh, ended up in queues everywhere because there was just one lane open. But uh, that seems to have been uh, been done with. That's nice. Oh, we have a new gas station here. Not quite done yet. Not open for business, but soon it seems like. Another place you don't need to worry about cash is if you use the Grab app. If you order your cars, your food, your groceries, you can use uh, Gcash or Maya to pay. You can use your credit card or you can uh, add money to your Grab account so you use your Grab Pay. Usually there are some kind of uh, uh, discounts if you use uh, one on another. A promotion that says if you use Gcash you get 10% off or whatever. Also, if you use Food Panda, you can use Gcash or your credit card. Even there, you don't need any cash on hand. Another place that I don't need to use cash is at my dentist office. He accepts uh, Gcash, Maya, and credit card. So that's another place you don't have to uh, use your uh, paper bills. Another place you usually don't have to use cash is the bigger malls here in Iliulu, like SM City. The bigger stores and the restaurants, there you can uh, use your card. And I've seen there are some local vendors that are on the lower floors that are selling some uh, treats and uh, other local stuff. Most of them, what I've seen, are accepting uh, Gcash, so even there you don't need to use your cash. So if you are living here in Iloilo city and you use the major outlets to buy your stuff, you don't really need that much cash on hand to make your daily life work. Then the problem is, how do you get your money into your Grab account or your Gcash account? Well, when it comes to Grab, it's easy. You can just use your credit card to transfer the funds to your uh, Grab account. When it comes to Gcash, at the moment they don't uh, support uh, topping up via uh, credit card. You have to use uh, some kind of over-the-counter service, a uh, Filipino bank account, or some kind of remittance service. I use a remittance service to get my money from my Swedish bank into my Gcash account. Uh, also, if you have a uh, Maya, you can uh, transfer money from your Maya account to your Gcash account. Uh, then you have the problem getting your money into your Maya account that is also available via credit card but I think they take a 200 peso fee to uh, transfer that money or you can use a remittance service there as well. So is it possible to live without cash here in Iloilo City? Yes it is but I would say it is not that practical because especially if you are on a budget you want to go to the cheaper places like the public market to buy your produce and that stuff and uh, chances are that you have to use cash there because not everybody is going to accept Gcash or something like that uh, but yes it is possible but not very practical that is what I think anyways so what are your thoughts about cash card e-payment solutions here in the Philippines please let me know in the comments I've heard some uh, expats and a lot of Filipinos actually talking about Gcash and that they got scammed on that. Somehow their money just kept on disappearing. I might be going out on a limb here and say that is mostly because of user errors. Uh, I think that uh, many Filipinos and some expats, perhaps if they are kind of older, might not be that tech savvy when it comes to protecting their identities online, especially when it comes to their money. Uh, we have the same scams going on in uh, Sweden that uh, mostly elderly people are getting scammed of money. 
because they don't really know how to uh, protect themselves when uh, they are online. People calling them up and say, hello, we're calling from your bank, we need you to uh, use your uh, login onto your account and uh, whatnot. And uh, then they get scammed. And uh, that thing is happening here in the Philippines as well. I've had some uh, text messages coming through that, uh, hey sir, you to uh, uh, get your par parcel that is on uh, delivery, it's on hold because there is missing uh, 50 pesos for uh, delivery fee or whatever. Uh, just press this link and uh, we will help you with that. That is a clear scam usually and uh, when you press that link and uh, you uh, input your information that is when you get scammed. So I would uh, still be on this limb and say that most of those uh, scams are made possible by user errors. You can scold me if you want in the comments, but uh, please tell me what you think. I think that is what I have to say about uh, cash versus uh, plastic or e-payment options here in the Philippines. Uh, we will see. Perhaps I will uh, think about something else during uh, this video and we will continue to talk about that. But for now, let's just enjoy the drive. Seems like we have another new gas station here. They really like these gas stations here on Panay Island. Oh, it seems we have some kind of road work going on here. Yes, just one line open. I think that is the first one since we entered this road, right? There was one just at the entrance, but uh, this was the first one. A lot of people on a tricycle there. work going on here. Not that much traffic so we uh, doesn't have to uh, wait in line. But they are not quite done with this road yet. It's been going on since I can't remember like in August or something. To the left we have the Santa Barbara Heights subdivision. Some people riding on top of the truck. Nice and windy, I guess, but not that safe, according to me.
yeah, the road here isn't even close to be done. It will probably take a couple of months more before they are completely finished with this road. We will check it out later in the year. So to the left you can see Jollibee and just behind it it is a Save More supermarket. We're gonna go up to the roundabout and uh, take a right and then we will kind of do a U-turn because the bank is uh, just ahead from us here. You can see it there, the light blue thingy. So we're gonna go up here and we're gonna do our U-turn. So this road goes down to Iloilo, and on the other way it is towards the airport. Watch out for traffic, and here we go. Have a Yamaha dealer there. bank and the ATMs there to the left. So I'm just gonna go in here, see if I can find a parking spot in the shade. Here we go. I'll just wait here while she withdraws the money. All said and done. Just took a few minutes actually. Usually there is a longer queue here but today it was okay. So it's just time to go back home. We will actually stop to buy some uh, veggies at uh, our uh, regular stall along the road. So uh, let's go. So we're gonna go up around the uh, roundabout and go down towards Iloilo. We'll go towards the uh, uh, Ganan flyover and then we'll take a right to go to uh, towards our place. How they use the roundabouts here in the Philippines is kind of uh, the opposite of what we have back home in Sweden or in any country in the world I would guess. Usually you are supposed to give way for the people who are inside the roundabout uh, when you try to enter. Here it is uh, usually the other way around. People who are entering the roundabout they just drive straight in and uh, hope that you that is in the roundabout you give way for them. It kind of defers the purpose of a roundabout, but well, that is how they do it here. Although there is uh, giveaway signs on uh, the entrance to uh, the roundabout, but uh, yeah, people don't seem to care or mind here.
as I have mentioned in other occasions, this is a really nice and uh, wide road here. Usually no problems. Uh, problems is with the U-turns people are doing. If everybody was just keeping in their left lane to do the U-turns, it would be much easier. But uh, many people are doing the U-turns from the middle lane or even from the right lane. I've seen people just go across all lanes to do the U-turn. So you really keep uh, keep yourself on the toes here when you're driving. Coming up here to the right is the Gateway Hotel. We have a nice Christmas tree out front. That's something I'm going to do a U-turn. Or perhaps not U-turn, we came from inside there. But I keep blocking all the lanes. As I said when we started this video, really nice weather today, no heavy clouds, so uh, I'm pretty confident we will make it home without getting wet today. To the left we have Mandawi Fau, and uh, talking about furniture and that kind of stuff. IKEA just announced that uh, from uh, January 15 uh, they're gonna do a uh, full delivery here to Iloilo. Before you could just uh, order parcels up to 30 kilos, but uh, from uh, January 15 it is fully truck load delivery available here in the, in the Iloilo city. So you can buy the couches or kitchens or whatever you want, you get it delivered here to Iloilo. Good news for people who like IKEA. Here we're coming up on the Ganon flyover. It is uh, far from finished, and I don't think they actually do that much work on it because uh, they are afraid there are the same problems with the pillars here at in the Anka flyover. I haven't heard that much about this flyover being uh, what they're gonna be done but uh, when everything is said and done it will be very nice to go from uh, Iloilo city up to the airport uh, I heard that they wanted the uh, Anka flyover to be reopened for traffic in August 2024 we will see how that will go anyway we come up here, we're gonna go to the right here to go down towards the uh, Savannah subdivision. If you continue, you go down to the Anka flyover and in the extension you go down to the inner city proper. This road always have a lot of traffic, especially on the weekends. Let's see if we can do any sneaky sneaky or if it's... Nope, he closed that one. of traffic especially going in the other direction wouldn't be that fun to be sitting in that queue but I think if you have a bike you'll be able to do some sneaky driving there
that is a fully loaded tricycle here to the right. I wonder what the max load is on those things. This road is kind of rough and bumpy. It uh, needs to be addressed, I would guess, in a few months' time. Uh, I don't know what, uh, if there is any plans on uh, refurbishing this road, but we will see in the future. Home subdivision to the left. Our driver just going up in front of us and not accelerating away. That is a kind of infuriating when people drive out and we have another car here driving out. Where's the accelerator, dude? Hit it! Hit it! Let's go! I don't know why, but it is uh, quite common here in the Philippines that people are uh, going out in the road and they just don't accelerate away. They just uh, go there for a couple of hundred meters very, very slow. Uh, I'm not used to it. I'm actually getting quite annoyed by it. Well, here we can do some uh, sneaky, sneaky driving. And of course, my backseat driver is complaining already. He doesn't like it stay in line she says but what's the use to having a bike if you stay in line all the time
Sneaky, sneaky driving again. comes will you accelerate away no will you choose a lane to be in no so you just have to stay behind him will you go to the right will you go to the left what is going on you don't know So here we're coming up onto the intersection. We're gonna take a left since we're gonna buy some veggies from our favorite stall. meters up here at our favorite stall here we go just easy in here here we are hello hello all done let's go the lady of the house said she wanted some uh, ice cream, so uh, let's stop by the Illuminati supermarket on the way and buy some uh, ice cream, among other things. It is just uh, a couple of uh, hundred meters up the road here, coming to the left. And we have this intersection again. See if it's going to be a problem getting through. Guess not just following the truck here. It's always good to have a big car or truck in front of us. Make way. Here we have a little supermarket. Let's see if we can cross the street. Thank you, sir. Let's go. They have a little bit of uh, motorcycle parking down here. There is more uh, just uh, in front of the main entrance, but we will stop here and we'll go and buy some ice cream, amongst other things. Well, that was fast. Let's go back home. Let's see if we can uh, manage to get out of the traffic here. A lot of traffic. Let's just try to sneak out here go 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 that went well here we're coming up on the main entrance of savannah subdivision it's a good place as any to end this video. Thank you everybody for watching. And as usual, if you have any comments or uh, what uh, suggestions or what to talk about in the future on these videos, please let me know in the comments. Please have a nice day and see you next time. Bye for now.